Last Christmas, we surprised our daughter with a delightful small pool table. However, the space it occupies seems a bit bare. To enhance the ambience, I decided to elevate the room's aesthetic by crafting a mirror and a bench using live edge slabs. Inspired by captivating designs I discovered online, featuring rustic slabs rich in character, cracks, bug holes and knots, I eagerly embraced the challenge of creating a unique piece. Opting for an authentic rustic vibe, I decided against using epoxy, allowing the natural imperfections to shine through in my handcrafted live-edge accent mirror. With a clear vision for my design, I visited Clean Slab Customs located in Selena, Texas to carefully select stunning slabs that caught my eye. The beauty of these slabs was undeniable, prompting me to make an immediate purchase. To streamline the process and expedite my project timeline, I opted to have slabs professionally flattened on site. The decision not only ensured precision but also allowed me to efficiently embark on the creation of my mirror, aiming to complete the project within the next two or three days. Upon welcoming the slabs into my garage, I dedicated ample time to determine which one would be perfect fit for the mirror and which for the bench. Once these decisions were made, I commenced the detailed process of bringing my mirror vision to life. With the mirror design in mind, I aimed to showcase the live edge by positioning it inward, prompting me to carefully cut the slab in the middle. This stage demanded meticulous consideration as I sought a balanced appearance on both ends. Selecting the precise point to cut became a thoughtful exercise. Ensuring symmetry and avoiding disruptions to the natural beauty of the wood, particularly around knots that I aimed to preserve rather than compromise. It was a deliberate and patient exploration to capture the essence of the slabs in a harmonious design. The placement of the pool table near the front door of my home presents a unique challenge, as the mirror will be prominently visible to anyone entering. To meet this challenge head-on, I approached each step of the build with a deliberate focus on achieving precision and perfection. At every stage, I took my time ensuring careful attention to detail. While I won't claim absolute perfection, I can confidently say that I did not fall short. The effort was a dedicated pursuit of excellence, acknowledging the importance of making the mirror not just functional but also an aesthetically pleasing focal point for anyone stepping into my home. If you are following along with this project and have found the video enjoyable, expressing your support by subscribing to my channel and engaging with likes or comments would greatly contribute to its growth. Your interaction serves as motivation for me to produce more content. So if you could take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like the video and drop a comment, it would be genuinely appreciated. The last challenge in the build involved figuring out how to securely attach the mirror to the slabs. Many opt for glue or epoxy, but I steered away from the trout considering the potential difficulty in replacement if the mirror were to break. Instead, I carefully routed grooves on both live edge slabs, sandwiching the mirror in between to ensure a robust connection. I used hardwood strips affixed with screws, effectively securing the top and the bottom. However, addressing the sides presented a different challenge. To resolve this, I cut small pieces of wood and firmly attached them to the ends using CA glue completing the comprehensive attachment of the mirror to the slabs. As the mirror build progressed well, I began contemplating how to securely mount it on the wall. While considering the use of fringe cleats, I weighed the pros and cons. Opting for fringe cleats would create a gap, potentially collecting dust, but it would offer an option of incorporating LED strip lights. After careful consideration, I decided against French cleats. I envisioned a cleaner look with the mirror seamlessly attached to the wall. My chosen approach involves affixing bolts to the studs, routing a groove on the top side of the mirror and hanging it flush against the wall. Although French cleats would provide a more secure mount, I prioritized aesthetics in this instance. 
If needed, I can always add fringe pleats later if this method proves impractical. Thank you for sticking around until now. I trust you found the video enjoyable. In the upcoming segment, I'll be sharing the bench build that will complement the mirror as it sits beneath. Thanks once more and I look forward to seeing you next time.